Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Tiny Town VR. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we are back with the start of a brand new disaster. So I told you guys, we're going to be doing some sort of alien invasion. But first, I think it's actually going to start off with something special here. Now we have been debating about this portal. Watch, let me go ahead and put it up here. That looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, that's a portal, but what we're going to be calling it, we're going to be calling it a portal slash black hole. So aliens are going to be coming through it, which eventually I do want to build like an alien mothership. Might not be this episode, but like I was saying, aliens are coming through it. I'm going to add to it and they're going to be sucking up a part of Tiny Town. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to look absolutely epic, at least if I can build what I have pictured in my brain right now. So we're going to be doing that. Now, if you missed the last episode, we did kind of a little one off over here at the racetrack area. This is a NASCAR track. If you missed that, I'll flash it in the top right corner. But anyways, if you guys have any ideas for this alien invasion, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. And if you guys are enjoying Tiny Town on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel. And let's do this. All right, so if I was a black hole that was trying to eat Tiny Town, how big would I be? Like, I feel like this has got to be big. Like, maybe that? So, I know you can see right through it, which is a little weird. Hmm, we could probably block the back of it. Uh, one thing I want to do, I can duplicate. Does it actually... Wait. Does it not line up with itself? Huh, it's turned snapping off. Place it back up here. So if I go... Oh, look at that. You know, if I can layer this thing together and give it a background and make it actually look... Actually, that looks really cool because I could stick stuff in it right now. And we can go in it too. All right, you know, I can work with this. Honestly, I think I can. So what we're going to be doing... Uh, also, the ground's going to be breaking up. I'm kind of liking how I did the spider pit over here. So I think it's going to be kind of like that. Except for it's going to be elevated. So you're going to have buildings flying in here. People, cars... Even maybe some dinosaurs, you never know. Alright, so let me find a way to uh, block off the back of this thing and make it look a little bit more, I don't want to say natural, just make it look a little bit more believable, I guess. Alright, so one thing I do want to use here, uh, you can see I'm kind of forming the ground here. Uh, I would like to actually use some skyscrapers. I know the main city's over there, but I just can't help but think that it would be so cool to see skyscrapers going up into the uh, black hole there. So... What I think we're going to have to do, we're going to have to use some, and let's go, what does this look like? So say, if this is getting pulled up, oh yeah, because we're going to be able to aim like every building, everything that's going up it, like it's going to be aimed directly at the portal, that way it gives it the, uh, kind of the illusion of that pull. Uh, this probably needs to be over here, we'll have some dock stuff over here. Now one thing I'm going to do, kind of like how I did the tsunami way over there, uh, the gravitational pull is going to actually be pulling the water up too and kind of creating like a wave going towards it. So I think that's going to be a nice little uh, add-on to this. All right, so you can see some of the buildings that are falling down. Everything's getting sucked this way. Now, what I've got to go in here and do, which this is going to take a bit of work, uh, kind of like how I did the little uh, brown spheres to make it look like the ground was all broken up here. I've got to essentially do the same thing over here. I'm going to use a mixture of brown, probably use some of the concrete ones, and then I need to put some water splashing here too. Uh, I don't actually look forward to this part. This part's going to take just a bit, but I do think it's going to be well worth it once we're through here. All right, so you can see some of the destruction is starting to really happen here. So what we need to do, we need to grab some rubble and stuff like that. We're going to have like planes flying into this thing. It's going to be absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and grab some debris. You got like bikes. It looks like cars are getting flung up in it. Like, it's just going to be pure chaos here. Uh, let's see, what debris pieces I, do I have? I know I've got some piles here uh, in this zombie pack somewhere. There we go. Found them. All right, let's go and place some of these in here. Uh, really about to get to the nitty gritty when we're adding people and cars here in just a second. So we still do need our alien, but I don't know what we're going to call it. I'm not sure how we're going to make it. I do have a workshop alien, which is literally from the movie Aliens, and I really like it. Like, I think we're going to use that as our base model. Now, like I said, we might modify some things. Uh, we might add uh, 
maybe some sort of mothership and some other things. I want to hear what you guys want to see there because I'm a little bit curious. Let's add some of these piles here. This is uh, looking pretty fantastic so far. It's really looking like it's uh, a bunch of buildings actually getting destroyed now, not just a bunch of spheres on the bottom. So you're getting like a lot of rubble that's going up. Uh, by the way, I kind of added a little bit to the black hole here. Uh, I'm going to make it black. I'm going to actually probably scoot it and cone it a little bit. I know it's probably not like a real black hole, but uh, that's what we're going with as far as what we're calling it. So... Like I said, uh, if you guys have any ideas for the aliens, uh, let me know. And uh, also, we need a name for the aliens. I don't want to just call them, hey, these are the aliens. Like, I want a creative name. So, I'm kind of curious what you guys will uh, come up with for that. Alright, so we are now in the process of adding vehicles. Uh, we're about to go to people. The vehicles that are flying through the debris, some are going uh, up in the air. Some are actually, like, shoveled down in it because they can't be freed yet. But they'll probably get picked up here in a second. Man, once you think about this, this might be the worst disaster for Tiny Town because where does that thing stop? Does it not stop until everything's gone or... I really don't understand what we've done here today. It's like we've created the ultimate end for Tiny Town. Which by the way, I don't know if I pointed this out, I did add a ship here. I'm gonna add some more background to that here in just a second. But it's gonna be uh, getting sucked out of the harbor here and getting picked up into the black hole. Check that out. That looks incredible. All right, so I guess we're ready to move to people. So, yeah, people, they don't have a chance here. They don't weigh that much. They're probably going to be flying off into the never here or whatever's on the other side of this thing. Uh, we're going to stick this one guy kind of here hanging on. All right, check that out. I've actually added more detail to the ship here. Uh, to give you guys a little bit of perspective of how big this thing truly is, let's go stand by one of the citizens of Tiny Town here. So we're gonna zoom in. Man, look at the debris field down here. Actually, that is poking up kind of awkward. There we go. Oh yeah. So this person's trying to hold on to this other person and you can just see how big it is. It's absolutely massive and it's just ripping everything up. So you got that, you got more people flying through the air here. I added quite a few people actually. Like I said, detailed the ship here. I don't like this donut shop, or I think this is really this way a lot of the buildings are. I think a lot of the buildings in Tiny Town don't have a bottom to them, so let's go ahead and turn that that way. Kind of aim it away. All right, that looks good. So, of course it's Tiny Town. I know this looks all serious, like uh, doom and gloom. But we do have to have a little bit of humor here. So, uh, one guy, he probably ate Taco Bell if I had to guess. But you gotta figure out where this thing is. Do we have a toilet here? Uh, Han, we have a newspaper. I'm gonna need that. And there's a couple other things I'm gonna need here. So this guy here was enjoying a nice afternoon poop. And unfortunately, he got sucked out of his house. But that's not gonna stop him from going at it here. Plus, he's got the paper here. No telling what the headline actually says, but... Yeah, I thought I'd add that. Hmm, we also have to figure out something with Grandma this episode. Honestly, I don't know what she's gonna be doing, but check this out from back here. That is rather impressive. All right, so I need to block the background a little bit. I think I'm gonna add a little more uh, water through here, and we need to figure our alien situation out. All right, so as far as the aliens I have, uh, well, I say they're from the movie Aliens. Yes, they look very close to it. I think they are a little bit different, not too bad. But man, wait, could you imagine if it was that big? That'd be a little crazy. Maybe the aliens are going to start coming through. I need to figure out a design for actually a, uh, a UFO. Uh, that'd be cool. So question is, are these going to be big aliens or small aliens? Are they going to be like that size or maybe a little smaller or maybe bigger? Now, bigger is probably out of the question. I'm thinking maybe they'll vary in size. We actually have two different models here. We have like a leaping one. Which, that's actually quite frightening. And then we have the smaller ones here. So, I don't think we're going to do too much with the aliens today. We are going to introduce them. So, maybe they're going to be kind of camped around like they just got through the portal. Uh, they're waiting to take over the world here. So, we'll have some scattered uh, throughout the little destruction here. Of course, they're resistant to the black hole here. Uh, this doesn't matter to them. You know, maybe this is the whole reason Tiny Town is so screwed up in the first place. Maybe it's just the aliens. I don't know, I always like to hear the uh, theories that you guys have. There's been some really, really interesting ones and some really, really messed up ones. I'll let you guys read the comments on those, though. 
All right, so I've started to work on this side of the black hole. So we're gonna say it formed, it came in like this. So in theory, anything over here and maybe a little beyond to the right side might be okay at the moment until the black hole decides to grow or turn or just decides to implode the whole, uh, the whole world here. So now uh, also it's gonna affect the air things. So I think I wanna make like a jet uh, kind of flying into it here. There we go. So that thing's just getting sucked in. It probably wouldn't be going straight. It's like going sideways here. Man, just the destruction here. Now, unfortunately for all the uh, the passengers on the uh, airplane there, the uh, pilot decided to bail. Now, unfortunately for the pilot, uh, he doesn't realize how this is going to work, obviously. If you open up a parachute in a black hole, guess what? You're still going in the black hole. There you go, Mr. Pilot. You are, uh, you're pretty much gone there. Man, this is so cool. This is probably, uh, one of my new favorite builds. Let me know what you guys think here. I'm liking the way this looks. So we've kind of introduced the aliens a little bit. Uh, I want to wait and hear from you guys until I kind of go further in detail with them. But as far as the level of destruction here, this is great. Now, I think it's time to address the actual black hole itself. And maybe... Hmm, maybe work on it. What if I were to do rings around this thing? So, say, uh, this black ring here. Let's go and make it bigger. And, of course, I drop it. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's grab another one. So what if we were to layer these things, which I kind of done, and also we're about to start sticking stuff in here. Uh, the people that were like the first come, first serve. So, if I layer this, we'll kind of keep that little purple piece in the back. So that's like the other side, whatever the other side is. You never know, what if the other side is actually something way better than a disaster, or I should say doomsday city here? What if it's like a paradise? You get on the other side, you know, you get like a, I don't know, a nice box of donuts or something. It's just uh, really, really nice. Uh, check that out, boom. I actually kind of like that. It actually makes it look a little more epic, a little bit more full here, instead of just a bunch of portals stuck together. All right, we need to start reaching inside, though. What's it like inside of this thing? Oh, that's pretty insane. Oh, oh and you can see its target there. That, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's stick some stuff in here. All right, so you can see now that the black hole is eating things. It's got people, cars, buildings, Everything's getting sucked up to their uh, final destination here. I picture this thing kind of swirling. Uh, too bad you couldn't animate stuff in Tiny Town. I think that would be epic looking. Actually, what does this thing look like? Say if we're over here where the prison break is happening. What does that thing look like? Oh, you can see it way over there. It's probably our biggest disaster yet. Mecha Godzilla is pretty big, but that thing is epic. All right, so. It wouldn't be a Tiny Town episode if we didn't add one more person here. And of course, it's gonna be Oblivious Scramble. Now, like Mr. Uh, Sir Poops a lot here, which, where did he go? I put so much stuff here. Oh, there he is. Uh, he's pooping, you know, enjoying his day. Well, Grandma was enjoying her day. She had a day off and unfortunately, you know, actually, I don't think she cares. She's oblivious to this. I was gonna say unfortunately, but honestly, I don't think she even knows what's happening. So, you know, she's just enjoying her day off. So grandma was just trying to have a nice day today. She's eating a sandwich over here. She was actually out in the park trying to feed the birds. Uh, she's got a little bit of popcorn, which don't hold me to that. I don't know if you're supposed to feed birds popcorn. Hmm, did I just say the wrong thing? You know what? I didn't say to do that, but she was doing it anyways. Uh, maybe she was breaking the law or something. But yeah, she was just bird watching, trying to have a nice day, and she's trying to figure out why are the birds not showing up? What? What's going on? Uh, oh, I just noticed the plane up there. Yeah, she has no clue what's happening. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Tiny Town VR. Uh, we will be coming back to this because I think we're ready to do the alien part of this. Even though we have a couple of them out, uh, there's got to be something they're coming after. Either that, they're just coming after everything, I don't know. But we need the aliens, I need like a mothership. I'm thinking maybe like an Independence Day thing where it's beaming something down and blowing everything up. That could be something too. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town VR.